What's up you guys, it's Hannah, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am... I'm gonna be trying on every single thrifted article of clothing that I own. A little while ago, I went through my closet, I went through my drawers, I literally went through every place that I could have clothing and I pulled out every single thing that is thrifted. Obviously, this isn't gonna be every single thing I've ever thrifted in my entire life, because if I thrifted something like 10 years ago and it doesn't fit anymore, I probably redonated it. So obviously that stuff's not going to be in it. But this is probably a conservative estimate. But I want to say there's probably 75% of my entire wardrobe on my floor right now waiting to be tried on for this video. I feel like I have two main reasons for wanting to make this. One, I thrift a lot. You all know this. If you're new here, hi, I'm Hannah. I thrift a lot. And I know I have a lot of thrifted clothes, but how many? Really? I don't know. I think it's gonna be interesting to see like how many thrifted pieces of clothing I actually own The second reason is because I could really use a good workout and I think that this video is gonna be that for me I'm probably going to be sweating by the end of me trying all of this stuff on which is no surprise, but all right, so right now it is 11.39 a.m. I'm saying this because I want to know how long this video is going to take me to film. So I'm going to pop back in at the end and let you guys know what time I finished. But there is a really exciting part about this video and that is that it is sponsored by ThreadUp. Thank you to ThreadUp so much for working with me on this video. I have been wanting to work with ThreadUp for a while, so I'm really happy that I finally am. And honestly, the main reason that I've wanted to work with them for so long is because I feel like on every single video that I ever post that has to do with thrifting. I get so many comments that say, I wish I could find good stuff like this at my thrift stores. I don't even have thrift stores near me. Like this is a perfect solution for literally every single one of you who has ever commented that stuff on my videos. If you guys don't know what ThreadUp is, it is the world's largest online thrift store and it has your favorite brands, literally any brand you can think of, up to 90% off of retail price. I'm gonna show you guys like right now some goodies that ThreadUp let me pick out from their website. It comes in this cute little box with polka dots on it, which I think is adorable. ThreadUp has given me a code. It's just Hannah, and you can use that to get 30% off of your first order from ThreadUp. All the information is gonna be in the description, including a link you can use to get to the website, my code, all of that. Hell yeah! This is the first item that they sent me. It is this pretty oversized turtleneck sweater from Aerie. You know how much I love Aerie. I freaking love Aerie and it fits amazing. I'm crying. So the estimated original price of this sweater from Aerie is $48 and it was $14.99 from ThreadUp. This is also from Aerie. Who's surprised? I've already worn this in a video and to class. I love this freaking thing. It is just this crew neck sweatshirt and it says be confident on it, which I think is a cute message. Love that. So the estimated original original price of this is $48 as well and it was only $14.99 from Threda. So the next item that I got is this Ralph Lauren t-shirt. It has these really cool detailing. It actually has like beads on it literally. I thought this t-shirt was so dope. It is also new with tags. I am so happy about that. Okay so you can see the tag. This item's estimated original price was $36. I got it from ThreadUp for $8.80. Brand new. $8.80. Next I got this Calvin Klein zip up hoodie. First of all I love love the sleeves. This is also incredibly soft. Like I actually wish you guys could feel the material inside of this. Estimated original price of this hoodie is $36 and I got it from ThreadUp for $11.20. Obsessed. Obsessed. Oh god, this is so cute. Okay. Anyway, the next item is this Free People bodysuit. Um, hello? The estimated original price for this is $119. Who is paying that? Not me. I got it from ThreadUp for $23.15. Okay, so the last two items are pants. And the first one is just this pair of gray leggings. These are from Aerie. I don't even own a pair of gray leggings. Well, I didn't until right now. The estimated original price of these is $24. And I got them from ThreadUp for $11.99. And then the last item is also a pair of leggings. Because what the hell else do I wear? These are just this. What even color is this? It's kind of gray. But it also has like kind of hints of purple in it. I don't know. I really dig this color for leggings. I have another pair of similar color, but these are Victoria's Secret Sport. I can't wait to like work out in these if I ever go to the gym. Oh my god, I'm already sweating. The estimated original price of these leggings is $40 from Victoria's Secret, and I got them from ThreadUp for $12.80.
It's either really hot in here or I have a sweating problem. Okay, so I actually just changed into the Calvin Klein hoodie that I just showed you guys because it is allowing me to have more airflow. I bet you guys are probably thinking, just take the sweatshirt off and put a t-shirt on. No. You guys should definitely check ThreadUp out. I think that it's such a cool idea. You can go onto ThreadUp on your phone. They have an app and also on your computer and you can filter what you're searching for by size, brand, color, type of item, like if you want a long sleeve, short sleeve, whatever. They make it really easy to find what you want and it's all at such a good price. If you guys wanna check out ThreadUp, you guys can use my link, it's in the description and also my code, which is just Hannah. Check the description, all the details will be in there and thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today video and let's get on to the rest of the video now all right so god i'm just staring at the piles of clothes on my floor and i'm sweating thinking about it i split the rest of this video up into six sections so i am gonna do this by clothing type so the sections are as follows jackets sweatshirts t-shirts sweaters other tops that are not t-shirts or sweaters and then bottoms without further ado let's get on into this video Jackets are without a doubt my favorite thing to look for at the thrift store. Not only are they so unique and inexpensive, but it's honestly just fun to look through all of them and see what kind of cool stuff they have. There are so many truly vintage pieces. And also a jacket is really my go-to statement piece for an outfit. I feel like I wear a lot of basic pieces otherwise and throwing on a really cool jacket really just takes the outfit to a new level. Cause I'm moving on. I said it, I said it, she knew that I meant it I gave her all my money and now that she's been I feel like sweatshirts are a fan favorite to look for at the thrift store. Pro tip is to look in the men's section for them because I have gotten every single one of mine from the men's section with the exception of maybe one or two. I just feel like I like those better and they have more of an oversized vintage feel to them. I also get 99.99% of my t-shirts from the men's section. I am a sucker for oversized t-shirts from the thrift store and they're really inexpensive, so I honestly have no excuse not to buy them. I really like t-shirts specifically that have places on them that I've never been or colleges on them that I don't go to. I also like to crop them and make them look like something I could buy from Brandy Melville for $40 when I actually just spent $3 on it at the thrift store and cropped it myself, but it looks the same. Why the hell would I pay $50 for a sweater at a retail store when I can get it at a thrift store for six? That's all I have to say about that. AKA any other kind of top. Couple things I'd like to point out in this section. One, if you're not thrifting your flannels, you're doing it wrong. Two, I really like buying thermal tops and cropping them because Brandy Melville sells a lot of those and they're really freaking expensive. Three, button downs are a gold mine at the thrift store and I found one the other day that was 100% silk. So keep on the lookout for that. <laughs> The last section is bottoms and as you can see there's really not much here and that is because I have an awful time trying to find pants that fit me anytime not just at thrift stores. Sometimes I do get lucky at thrift stores though. I found two really good pairs of jeans so far that I just am in love with but honestly it's overall difficult for me so that's why this category is so small. <laughs> And that, my friends, is the end of this video. That is every piece of clothing that I own currently that I have thrifted. My thrifted clothing collection, if you will. The way that I'm filming this video is I'm doing this part first and like next I'm gonna try on all the clothes so I actually haven't done that yet. So future editing, Hannah, what time did we end up finishing this video? It's 3.05 p.m. and I just finished. I have no idea what time she just said because like I said, I'm filming this video out of order, but whatever she said, there you go. That's all I have for you guys today. Again, thank you to thread up for sponsoring today's video if you want to check out thread up all the information is going to be in the description and in the comments i'm pretty sure it's gonna be my pinned comment and you can just use my code hannah for 30 percent off of your first order so that is it for today's video if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like thrifting give this a thumbs up if you think i have way too many clothes give this a thumbs up if you stay until this point in the video comment down below i'm a real one because you my friends are all real ones. Aww. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I post a new video every single Sunday. And I hope all of you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs>